Und damit willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Episode. Letzte Episode hat ja etwas speziell geendet. Ich bin sehr gespannt, wie es jetzt weitergeht. Aber ja, es war natürlich alles geträumt. Tag 154. Ein böses Erwachen. Im Krankenhaus. Das rhythmische Piepsen der Herzüberwachungsgeräte bringt dich allmählich wieder zu Bewusstsein. Als du deine Augen öffnest, begrüßt dich ein Halbkreis von besorgten Gesichtern. Deine Familie, die an deiner Seite steht, in dieser neuen Umgebung ein beruhigender, vertrauter Anblick. Du blinzelst einige Male, um den Schlaf aus deinen Augen zu vertreiben und alles ins rechte Licht zu rücken. Du spürst deine Hand auf, dein, auf der deinen, behutsam aber beruhigend. Sam, bin immer bei dir. Verständlicherweise besorgt, aber irgendwie liebervoller denn je. Wir wussten, dass du es schaffen würdest. Wir haben keine einzelne keine einzige Sekunde lang daran gezweifelt. Und wenn mir dieser Postman jemals unter die Augen tritt, du drückst dir die Hand und versuchst zu zwinkern. Die Sorgenfalten auf Sams Stirn werden weniger. Gott weiß, dass ihr zwei schon genug Sorgen habt, ohne dass eure Gesundheit mit ihnen in den Topf geworfen werden muss. Nach einem letzten Lächeln wendest du dich dem Rest deiner Familie zu. Als du Susis Abwesenheit spürst, fällt dir auf, dass Charlie unruhig herumzappelt und offensichtlich krampfhaft versucht, nicht besorgt zu wirken. Oh, das ist süß. Als du dich zu ihm umdrehst, erkennst du, wie Charlie sich verkrampft. Die Sorge steht ihm deutlich ins Gesicht geschrieben. Also, geht es dir wirklich gut? Richtig? Fragt er schließlich und schaut schnell zur Seite. Natürlich bin ich das. Es gibt keinen Grund, sich Sorgen zu machen. Mir geht's gut, Charlie. Lass die Decke in Ruhe. Ähm... Ja, der ist da. Charlies Gesicht verzieht sich und er steckt seine Hände tief in seine Taschen. Du vermeidest Sams Blick und dir fällt deine, deine Mutter auf, die teilnahmslos aus dem Fenster starrt. Trotz all deiner größten Bemühungen geht es in der letzten Zeit nicht besonders gut. Geht es dir gut, Mama? Deine Mutter erschrickt. Dein Ruf hat sie sichtlich aus ihrem Tagtraum gerissen. Sie dreht sich zu dir um und lächelt. Du bist dankbar, immer seltener, was? Die immer seltene Anerkennung in ihren Augen zu sehen. Ja, mein Schatz, natürlich. Wie fühlst du dich? Du lächelst liebevoll und nickst, aber bevor du zu einer Antwort ansetzen kannst, stürmt eine Ärztin herein und führt alle hinaus. Sie fragt dich zum wahrscheinlich hundertsten Mal, wie du dich fühlst. Überraschend gut, wenn man bedenkt, was alles vorgefallen ist. Naja. Es ist ja eigentlich, bis von einem Stromschlag getroffen worden oder zwischendrin, weißt du ja eigentlich nicht mehr. Nur deine, deinen kleinen Traum da, der ein bisschen schräg war. Ausgezeichnet. Es gibt keine Hinweise auf echte Schäden. <lacht> Nur einen kleinen Schock für das alte System. Das Wortspiel tut mir leid. Sie lächelt. Nicht, dass es empfehlen, äh, empfehlenswert wäre, so etwas noch einmal zu wiederholen. Natürlich nicht. Nach ein paar Tagen Ruhe zu Hause sollte alles wieder in Ordnung sein. Sie dreht sich um, will gehen, bleibt aber in der Tür stehen. Und deswegen hat sie jetzt alle rausgeschickt? Oh, und das Privatzimmer und die Versorgung. Die Ärztin weist mit einer Geste durch das Zimmer, das, wie dir jetzt auffällt, ziemlich teuer aussieht. Wurde alles von einem Herrn Boseman bezahlt. Von ihm sind auch die Blumen. Er sagt, er besteht keine Grund zur Sorge und der Rest der Woche ist arbeitsfrei. Am Montag geht es anscheinend wieder los. Wow. <lacht> Aber... Wie ist das jetzt mit der ganzen Gleichheit? Weil das ja nicht etwas, wo jetzt die neue Regierung drauf kommt. Naja. Oh, vergehen doch wieder einige Tage. 180. Eine zu tragende Bürde? Du kommst von einer besonders späten Schicht nach Hause und bemerkst, dass das Küchenlicht noch an ist. Das ist für gewöhnlich kein gutes Zeichen. Alle sind jetzt normalerweise schon im Bett. Leise öffnest du die Küchentour und siehst Sam am Tisch sitzen. Auf dem Tisch stapeln sich Rechnungen und Dokumente sowie eine Packung Kekse. Offenbar schon die zweite. Ähm, du hältst eine, einen flüchtigen Kuss, während du Platz nimmst. Nicht ganz ausgeglichen. Sam runzelt die Stirn, vertieft sich wieder und vertieft sich wieder in der Technik. Hallo mein Schatz, ich schaue mir gerade noch einmal die Zahlen an. Der Blick wandert zur Tür der Speisekammer, die inzwischen zum Schlafzimmer deiner Mutter umfunktioniert wurde. Wir haben wirklich unser Bestes gegeben, aber ich fürchte, dass Cassandra jetzt wirklich langsam eine Krankenschwester braucht, die sie versorgt. Oh no. Ja, in Amerika, die Gesundheitsrechnungen sind schon mega. 
Sie zeigen es ja sogar hier. 2270. 2318. Plötzlich siehst du nur noch die Rechnungen. Ich starre schon eine ganze Nacht auf die Zahlen. Mit Tränen in den Augen ergreift Sam deine Hand. Es gibt schlichtweg keine Möglichkeit, dass wir uns das leisten können. Es... Es tut mir so leid. Der Küchentisch verschwimmt vor dir. Sam steht auf und nimmt dich fest in die Arme. Du kannst aber nur an deine Mutter denken. Und dass du es dir nicht leisten kannst, dir zu helfen. Was würde dein Vater jetzt denken? Sollte das die Utopie sein, die Advance versprochen hat? Du starrst auf die Tür zum notdürftig eingerichteten Zimmer deiner Mutter. Oh, jetzt wird das Ganze hier nur richtig tief. Morgen musst du es den Kindern sagen und dann buchst du einen Termin in der, im Übergangszentrum. Ach nee, das... Gibt es da wirklich gar andere Option? Was hättest du denn sonst tun können? Wow, ich hätte jetzt nicht gedacht, dass es jetzt so einen Schlag gibt. Und warum, warum so viele Tage? Hm. Ein neuer Weg. Du sitzt mit Sam fern, als Charlie am Abend nach Hause kommt. Die Schule ist vor einiger Zeit vorbei. Ah, ist vor einiger Zeit vorbei, aber er kommt in letzter Zeit immer öfter spät nach Hause. Äh, ihr zuckt beide mit den Schultern und beendet eure Folge von meine Familie, mein Dalmatiner und ich. Okay. Nach dem Ende sagst du Sam gute Nacht. Du musst am Morgen früh aufstehen. Oben an der Treppe angekommen, fällt dir auf dem Weg ins Bett ein neues Post an Charles Tür auf. Es ist selbst gemacht, aber das Motiv ist eindeutig. Eine Faust. Offenbar in orangefarben in der Sprühfarbe von schwarzem Hintergrund. Das inzwischen wohlbekannteste Symbol von Disrupt. Oha. Deine Freunde sind anscheinend ein interessanter Haufen. Ah, ich glaube, da ist schon ein bisschen mehr dahinter. 201. Ein Brief nach Hause. Sam arbeitet heute Abend und Charlie übernachtet bei einem Freund. Das Haus gehört dir allein. Du bestellst Essen bei einem Lieferservice, trinkst ein paar Gläser und machst es dir vor dem Fernseher gemütlich. Heute Abend kommt kein sonderlich guter Film, aber sicherlich etwas, das man ansehen kann. Du fühlst dich wie ein Witz. Es ist eine Komödie. Äh, Sam ist nicht da, aber auch alleine kannst du einen Horrorfilm ansehen. Ah, no. Du musst einfach nur abschalten. Ein Actionfüller ist da genau das Richtige. Sam mag keine historischen Dramen. Also machst du das Beste aus der Zeit, in der du alleine bist. Hm. Ich würde also mal Action-Thriller nehmen. Das Drehbuch ist miserabel und äh, du bist dir relativ sicher, dass die Hauptdarstellerin die Rolle eher wegen ihres Aussehens als wegen ihres Talents ergattert hat. Das eine begeistert dich trotzdem, auch wenn die Seilbrücke, die über den Boden der Vulkan gespannt ist, jedes Klischee übertrifft. Haben die Indiana Jones geschaut? Äh, am Ende greifst du nach der Fernbedienung, die auf den Boden gefallen ist und findest stattdessen einen kleinen Metallgegenstand, der unter einem Couchtisch, äh, Couchtisch liegt. So. Als du ihn aufhibst, erinnerst du dich an Sam's Notiz am Kühlschrank. Hey, mein Schatz, Charlie hat Susis Geschenk verloren. Kannst du das heute Abend suchen? Haben wir wohl gefunden. Als du das Ding näher betrachtest, stellst du überraschend fest, dass es sich bei dem Geschenk tatsächlich um ein graviertes Feuerzeug für Chippy handelt. Sie behauptet, dieser Spitzname sei liebevoll gemeint, aber Charlie macht trotzdem jedes Mal ein finsteres Gesicht, äh, wenn sie ihn so nennt. Du weißt nicht, ob Sam das gutheißen würde. Die beigefügte Notiz von Susi erklärt, Irkistan hat eine lange Tradition, die Kunst des Feueranzündens zu glorifizieren. Ich dachte, das gefällt dir. Mach keine Dummheiten, Sus. Hoffentlich handelt es sich nur um Souvenir und äh, keinen neuen Zeitvertreib den er sich zugelegt hat. Äh, oder den er sich zulegen will. Es ist schön, dass sie an ihn gedacht hat. So hat sie nichts aussagen. Wieder so viele Tage. 232. Oh, und da sind wir jetzt wohl wieder im Studio. Mal schauen, was alles passiert ist. Denkt daran, dass der Markt vom Konzern von deinem Ausbau der Werbung abhängt. Ja, habe ich gemerkt. Ich habe gerade wieder einen Anruf am Anfang. Die Stille. Okay. One Channel. Ich 
ich höre nichts. Achso. Nee, ich höre nichts. Also, ja. Okay, wir machen. Was ist das? Ich wollte das Sportbett. Sport ja, ja, machen wir mal. Befürcht. Ups, die Zukunft der interkontinentalen Reisen. Ja, mach mal. Befürcht, der Name ist ein super sommer sommer wind sale Muss gespielt werden, Informationen. Was? Informationen über Rationierung in der Krise. Oh, kaputt. Geil. Good evening. I'm Megan Wolf. And I'm Jeremy Dawes. Our main headlines tonight. The establishment strikes back. The World Council has agreed today to impose punitive sanctions on the people of this country. The sanctions, which are broad ranging, include restrictions on the supply of oil and gas, food, clothing, and even some medicines. But how should we react? We ask the public. So how do you feel about the sanctions? I actually think that with advance in charge we'll be fine. Of course the rest of the world will want us to fail. Oh shit. Be their billionaires next. But I trust Julia and Peter. Thanks Patrick. Fascinating stuff. Oh, this is it. Julia Salisbury. Okay. Has released a reassuringly brave statement in response to the World Council's controversial announcement. This international declaration is nothing short of outrageous. We are a democratically elected government with massive popular support. We do not recognize these sanctions. And we encourage other socially progressive nations of the world to both resist and ignore them. Advance have struck fear into the heart of the international community by showing that it is possible to have radical change for the betterment of the many. And whilst I wish we could improve other countries as much as we have our own, we do not rely on the help of others to thrive. This country is entirely self-sufficient. We are Betten, dass das falsch ist. now more than ever. And this team is on your side. Thank you. Defiant stuff. But what do you, the public, think of our government's stance? Robin Short found out. Okay, here's this little thing. Robin Short, National Nightly News. I was wondering if I could get your thoughts on the current government. I'm not really very interested in politics, really. As Mother always said, <laughs> leave politics to the politicians, Malcolm. A whole lot of problems. Protests were held today at the controversial construction site for Remington Swift's physics-defying MOOBS project. Since digging straight through the earth began six months ago, the project has been beset by problems, including localized tremors and the heat deaths of many of the workforce. Residents of the nearby town of Calamity today converged on the construction site with sincere, if misspelled, placards, demanding a suspension of digging until safety checks can be carried out. Of course, that's half a world away. But what does this country think? Patrick. Schlechteste. What's your opinion of the Moobs project? The stupidest thing I've ever heard. What's to stop it, right? Dropping out the other end and just falling forever. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, but... Don't exist. Oh, yeah. A momentary lapse... Dem habe ich jetzt ehrlich gesagt nicht gerechnet, aber oh, geil. <laughs> ...found themselves somewhat bemused by the latest stunt by controversial protest group Disrupt. In a baffling start to the day, commuters found performers outside every major station all dressed and posed identically. Whether we're supposed to be amused or intimidated is anybody's guess, Jeremy. But most commuters didn't even stop to notice. Well, as long as it's not some grand contemporary dance, it's probably harmless. But how do we all feel about Disrupt and their eclectic tactics? Robin found out. Uh, it's not my positive. How do you feel about Disrupt? Ah, oh, well, now you're talking. Ruddy hero, showing us not to take it lying down like Iris here. <laughs> <laughs> so you well. feel there are calls worth supporting? Oh, Iris doesn't speak on mine, but we're pretty sure there's still one in there, aren't we, love? <laughs> Wherever it is, it loves disrupt, fighting the oaks for our freedom. And what could possibly be wrong with that? Do you need me to get you some help? 
Feast of Fanon. Wow, this one is echt hard. England's fourth Borg and Horgan's Ford today announced their first successful harvest in Dante's tent. Although they can currently only grow a few fungal strains, the scientists seem to be staying positive as the following picture shows. The undauntable scientists chose to try and survive in the cave system while the complex rescue operation <laughs> inches forward up here on dry land. Let's hope they lie strong enough. But with Advance planning to spend an eye-watering amount of public money on the rescue craft, we asked Patrick Bannon to find out what we should all be thinking about the accelerating costs. <coughs> Yeah, don't worry, they're going to cut all this on, they're disgusting. Ah, shit. Ah, I have to follow this. Oh, Jesus, what? Have you, Christ, have you thought about quitting smoking? Right. No, I'm fine now. Okay. What were we talking about? The trapped scientists. Oh, yeah, right. Don't really care. Brilliant. I am not a number. Applications finally opened today for the new Advance Team Membership Cards, a scheme by the government to allow fast access to all the new public services being introduced daily. The Team Membership Cards are entirely voluntary, but will be recognised as legal identification by all major organisations, including the police, banks and, rightfully, pubs and mm, So far, so good. And of course, there's no charge, Jeremy. It all seems too good to be true. Well, you've always been a cynic. But most importantly, what should you, the public, think about the new team membership cards? Naja, sag mal positiv, weil es klingt jetzt so nicht schlecht. Oh, yeah, fantastic. I'm applying today. I mean, why wouldn't you? What are these protesters doing? They don't want us to know who their names are. Besides, have you seen the savings you can get? I'm getting one for the little one as well. Oh, how adorable. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be a proper little team member, aren't you? <laughs> yes. He smiled. He smiled. Aber es ist schon dezent Brainwashing, was hier gemacht wird. Ganz New images reach us today of brave Johnny Handsleeves and his doting partner Tiffany Lamour in their ongoing struggle against his horrific mystery illness. Tiffany was forced to cancel her latest show, These Hotel Sheets and What I Did on Them, in order to devote more time to selflessly looking after the much-loved multimillionaire. I'm sure the art world will recover. With some critics questioning her motives, what should your opinion be of the controversial artist for at least appearing to stand by her man? Wird ja eigentlich grundsätzlich gut. Wise words there. Later tonight, in a bit of a switcheroo, it'll be Jeremy in the culture chair, spitting rhymes with popular rapper Jay Zuss. And then we'll both be chatting with a familiar team of thespians set to take the nation by storm again. That's all coming up on tonight's National Nightly News. Okay, das klingt doch spannend, was da kommen wird. Oh man, aber das mit den, mit den Smileys, das finde ich cool. Also es wird jetzt da nicht langweilig, kommt da jedes Mal was Neues. Äh, das mit der Werbung. Ja, ich glaube, das lassen wir erstmal sehen. Aber ich bin eigentlich advanced. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich das wirklich spielen will. First tonight, thankfully, some news as we return to our main story. The World Council today agreed that punitive and potentially illegal sanctions should be imposed upon this country. The sanctions, which come into effect immediately, aim to stop the flow of food, fuel and even some medicines from reaching your pockets. Tonight we have guests from across the continent to discuss this unprecedented situation. For advance, Peter Clement is at his home in Lanfordshire. Are you there, Peter? Yes, I can hear you, Jeremy. Thank you for having me. A momentous day, Prime Minister. Are you shaken? Oh, I don't scare that easy, I'm afraid, old son. And neither do the people of this country. <laughs> well, joining us is Ivan Vodovich, Foreign Minister of Urkestan. Ivan, thank you for being here. Uh, great pleasure. You, Megan Wolf, are like strongest guard of labor camp who wake up inside body of crazy, expensive prostitutes. In my country, you may be worshipped as a god. Okay. Uh, Minister, as one of those arguing most strongly for these sanctions, how do you feel about Advance's defiant stance? Uh, Advance is like man who think he a big career in movies land. When actually, he in dirty sanitarium, screaming at mirrors and holding tiny penis in hand. <laughs> He's clearly not from Svenland, then. We have, like, some of the cleanest mental health facilities in the continent, yeah. <laughs> and welcome to Svenland's Minister of Mojo, Björk. I'm sorry, we don't appear to have your surname. It's just Björk, yeah. We don't use things like socially divisive surnames. <laughs> Minister? Okay. It's just Björk, yeah. Right, um, Björk. Your country spoke in favor of advance at the World Council today. 
but you were noticeably absent when it came to the actual vote. Well, what a surprise. The hippies didn't show up for the fight. Actually, that's quite racist, because if you must know, we were going to go to the whole like voting year, but it's actually the festival of Furulands here at the moment, where we honor the old generations. So like we all had Paul Lurk, our grandparents, Galenia, whilst the vote was happening, and that's like a really, really time-consuming process, actually. You're like a sissy man. You have this expression, sissy man, is like man with tiny penis, who like to wash more than once a week. <laughs> Actually, that's quite homophobic, yeah, oh, because... stop winding him up, Ivan. We're not back at the Grange now. Sorry, Jeremy. I have no idea... Yuck it out! Oh, man. Yeah. He always wins. Nothing gives him greater pleasure than grinding people's gears. The more publicly, the better. <laughs> You're like man with tiny penis. <laughs> who think he have tiny penis. Okay, I think here escalated this just a little bit. Oh, could it be? No, it's tiny penis. Ivan's just worried that when the rest of the world sees how well we're doing, they'll notice all that dosh that he's got squirreled away. Because that's what these sanctions are, Megan. They're the last pathetic gasp of an establishment in collapse. We'll shut the gates, Ivan, old mate. Good. They can join others on my wall. Actually, in Svenland, we have, like, serious animal welfare legislation. And, like, my friend Helga, she got arrested, yeah, for healing a butterfly that was hovering over her fuel thing. I mean, an English, uh, jam sandwich. I used to know a girl called Jam Sandwich. She was a right cracker, too. I wonder what became of her. We seem to be wandering a little from the news here. Yeah, um, human interest, Jeremy. Yeah, I can't people it. behind the headlines and all that. So, uh, if you're watching Jam, give us a call. Really? Yeah. Let's see if we can't organise a reunion. Crash, uh, I'm, I'm not sure about that. I, I'll have to run it past Mrs. Clement first, eh? <laughs> Peter, you're like man trying to empty ashes of her uh, mistresses into oncoming vein. Uh, soon you have tiny penis and beard full of secrets. <laughs> In Finland, we don't really go in for all that restrictive monogamy stuff here. We're kind of flawed, actually. Okay. Ich well, mag seine so We are running out of time. Yes, so yeah. before we go to the break, and um, briefly, if you would, gentlemen, with the people of this country facing shortages and power possible, outages. Possible shortages and power outages. Yes, of What's course. Warum? Thank you. Um, uh, yeah, yeah, shortages really and power outages. Can you summarize your thoughts for us, uh, Minister Bjerg? Well, from here, yeah, you all look a bit stupid, really arguing about outdated device concepts like money. In Finland, we replaced currency with a system of bodily fluid back in the 1970s, and that's uh, really hard to sanction, actually. Thank you, uh, Minister Potovic. Your country okay. is like man who thinks he invented perfect trap for giant Milton Harry Bear. When really, he's just standing in field holding, holding his tiny penis. Yes, thank you, Minister. And finally, Prime Minister Clement. Let me talk to your viewers here, Jeremy. Don't worry, everybody. Don't be afraid. Don't even lose a wink of sleep. We knew the rest of the world would react this way. And we're ready. As my old mum used to say, you can't make a shite pie without blocking a few toilets. Thank you, Prime Minister. Reassuring words there. We'll be back after these messages. One minute back. Hey, Peter, I over your way this weekend. You fancy a quick nine? Yeah, sure, from the back. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're asking me. Oh, well, next stage is a little sky. She's out of your league, mate. Thank you for the correction. Well, you have to be more careful. It's all part of his long term plan to get fired live on the news at six in front of the nation. Can someone warn him it's going a little too well? Okay, I'm about to be having a Hey, what's that? Wir sollen jetzt für Advanced zensieren? Ich weiß nicht, ob ich das tun will. Hoist Noise, okay. What the fuck? Ähm, um, auf welche Kamera soll ich denn jetzt am Anfang? Aber das sieht nach einer geilen Dance Party aus, da auf Kamera 4.
Oh shit. Well, cool. later we have an exclusive first look at a theatrical sensation everyone's going to be talking about. But first, it's time to go over to the culture spot with lovely old Jeremy Donaldson, who's joined by a very special guest. Jeremy. Thanks, Megan. I have the honor and privilege of being joined by hip hop royalty. He's been called the son of the streets and the father of truth. Um, not sure the how father that works, of our, okay. Let's welcome Jesus. Hi, uh, thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, it's a real honor to be here on your show, The News. You know, as a kid on the streets, I used to watch you for a window of the shop, so to be here right now is crazy. Mm -hmm. um, you've had quite the journey to be here today. Can you tell us about it? Well, you know, I try not to, um, well, you know, the past is the past, and I don't like to dwell on it. I understand. You but understand. yeah, man, the streets is all I remember. Like, my mother donated me to a charity shop soon after I was oh, born. Yeah. Elderly lady took pity on me. You know, she let me sleep on a pile of crime fiction until I taught myself how to walk. Wow, that's uh, quite the childhood. And she died, like, died tragically. Right there in my arms, man. You know, I remember a tear falling as she laid there next to the used homeware. And in that moment, I became a child of the streets. I was just 18 months old. The story was like every year I told. Also, zumindest in the business. You're known for your direct and honest lyrics. Was your style informed by your troubled past? Oh, like I said, I, uh, I try not to talk about it. It's just, um, it's just too hard. Of course, I... But my first album is about the story of the first four times I stole, so I wouldn't starve. A small group of infants came to see me as their de facto leader. They call me Mr. T-Slice. <laughs> yeah, like a family. So it would seem. One. Recently, you've been quite outspoken about the government. Yeah, fuck the government. Fuck advance. Fuck Peter Clement. What is it that you object to so vehemently? Well, you know, they stole from us. They're taking our money and spending it, man. Redistributing it. Actually, homelessness has been all but eliminated in the last couple of months. So? Surely that's a cause close to your heart? <clears throat> yeah. Nah, of course, man. Very much so. I just mean, like, like why do I have to pay for it, you know? You don't. People right. have been rehoused on property seized from the historically wealthy. Mm. And that couldn't have been you, could it? Look, yeah. I worked hard to be here. I built this from nothing. And I deserve to be rewarded for that. Would you say you worked for a point. say a farmer or a care worker? I don't know. But if people are taking something from my music, choose to value it, buy it, who's to say I don't? And no one can take that away from me. Not even to help, say, vulnerable children? Mr. Cheeseless. What is it you're trying to say? I just don't understand where you've placed yourself politically. I mean, is it ideological or is it tactical? Well, it's more of a... Or like maybe it's hereditary. Stop trying to tie me in knots with your words, Jeremy. I let the music speak for itself. And the people agree with me. Well, that remains to be seen. But you have given me a very easy segue out of a conversation that I promise you. Es ist jetzt schon eine schwierige Diskussion um das Ganze. So here he is with his hit song, Mrs. Ludlow's Tears. Oh no, um, I'm going to do something a little different. It's a new single I've been working on. Oh, so this is uh, unapproved, is it? Yeah, you love it. Excellent. Don't worry, we've got a state-of-the-art censorship system. What's the worst that could happen? Ah, oh, vermutlich so viel, wenn du das so sagst. A new song. Aren't we lucky? It's Jesus! First, you're gonna pay off. You're gonna pay back. Oh. Well, we're all different races from many different places. At any given moment, only one could be the greatest. So you can feel elation from your participation. Still two leaders in this motherfucking nation. Now we're getting sanctioned, talking about expansion. Why does Julie S require a massive fucking mansion? So fuck all your schemes. I don't need your freaky team. And I don't need your help to achieve my fucking dreams.
So don't make a fuss when you find you're one of us. Hit every single one of you's a bit Jesus. And you can call me crazy, cause no one ever pays me. But I won't waste a lifetime being motherfucking lazy. I may be inventive, my taste may be expensive. Ah, I've been full up getting get out of bed with no fucking incentive. Although it's contravention of your obvious intention. I like to eat a little of the fruits in my invention. You make us the same, but we're not all the same. All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same. The best of the praise of the press of the wave Cause we're only equal people when we're motherfucking slaves Take this fact, gonna stain it red Gonna stab it into Peter Clemens motherfucking head Cause he's thick as shit, he's got a job, he's unthinkable It's time to stone a castle with a motherfucking bitch for Mmm Du hast jetzt so gebrainwashed. Ich finde die Wörter eigentlich gar nicht so schlimm. Ah, shit. You make us the same, but we're not all the same. All our dreams, all our schemes, all our means are not the same. And the best of the praise of the press of the ways. Cause we're only equal people when we're motherfucking slaves. Gonna take this fact, gonna stay in it red. Gonna slam it into Peter Clemens' motherfucking head. Cause he's thick as shit, he's got a job, he's unfit for. Start to stole a castle with a motherfucking bitch for. Get out of your seats, get your asses in the street, set up. I can never the air test to drink, man. Feel some fucking heat. Take your hate to go get us No squilling bed tetters And burn them on the powers of advances fucking letters Gonna take this fact Gonna stain it red Gonna slam it into Peter Clemens motherfucking head Cause he's thick as shit He's got a job he's unthinkable It's time to stall the cars and rig the motherfucking bitch for Chase that dream You don't need a fucking team And advances little dancers aren't as harmless as it seems Cause they're stale and corrupt Then you ain't ja, nö, das äh, blaue Tor alles nicht zensieren. Vorerst. Ich hoffe, das hat kein Nachspiel. Jay Zuss da mit seinem neuen Song. Thank you so much for joining us in the studio. That. I'm sorry. Um, I might not agree with you, but I'd just like to offer you an apology. I've just been told that there was some kind of issue upstairs. And an attempt was made to censor some of your lyrics. What? Are you joking? I'd just like to say to you and everyone at home that this was a mistake. <laughs> this is absolutely ridiculous. I cannot believe this. Here at the National Nightly News, we pride ourselves on remaining neutral, unbiased and independent of any outside interference. You have my word. We will never censor ideas. Back to you, Megan. <laughs> Ich habe nicht wirklich zensiert. Sorry about that. Well, thank you to little Jeremy Donaldson for providing our culture spot. Coming up, we'll be speaking to a couple of familiar faces about their upcoming dramatic outing. Don't go away. We'll be right back after this. That's the ad. Just a reminder. <laughs> Äh, wenn du das jetzt mal raus. Oh, trust me. My father's going to hear about this. I understand. Okay, ähm. Wir machen das da. I don't know what you're talking about, Jeremy. Och, nö, jetzt ist der Ton wieder weg. Na, okay, hör mal bei der Werbung rein. Jeez. I love our foreign vacations, Janet. Ja, man sieht's voll im Gesicht. Du liebst es wirklich. Let's face it, it's pretty inefficient, Janet. Going all the way around the planet. Oh, there we go. There, there has, has to, to be, be a better way. Oh, Don't worry. Could just get you in position. <laughs> oh, say no more. Say no more. <laughs> oh, shit. This is a big group here. Vividly. And Mr. Harris, and this is Ms. Raiden. What? Philippa, please. They're back together again, eh? Who'd have thought it? Uh... Perhaps a lower order demon. <laughs> yes, it is awfully exciting, isn't it? <laughs> right, okay then. Aber ich mach's bitte nicht noch eine zweite Einlage, oder? Nee. Sind jetzt nur wieder alle zusammen. Five, 
welcome back. And no, you're not mistaken. Sitting across from us are some very familiar faces. <laughs> you really are too kind, Megan. It was only a yogurt commercial, but I'm still proud of it. <laughs> Here to talk about his new show, we're joined by national treasure Tommy Harris, the national theatre's Philippa Ray, and national deficit Jeff Algebra. It's so lovely to have you all. Um, Tommy, would you like to tell us about the show? You know what? I'd bloody love to. It's about me. It's about my life. And where did the idea come from? So, right, picture this. Um, their legs are kimbo, mid-session, sweat is pouring out of me like an immense hog. <laughs> and then Cindy comes in, she says, she says, Pete's on the phone. That's Peter Clement, the Prime Minister. Yeah, yeah, Pete's actually a really good mate of mine. Oh, is he really? Yeah, yeah, no, he comes to training sometimes. He's actually a pretty good goal sweeper. Anyway, so, uh, okay. yeah, Peter, he, says, he says, Toby, can he thinks my name's Toby, see? He says, how would ah, you like to, to spread your message of team spirit and cooperation across this fractured nation. Okay, maximale like Sendeleistung. Also ein bisschen sehr Zufriedenheit. What did he say? Yeah, right, yeah. So Jeff, the question on everyone's lips is, what in God's name are you doing here? Ah, well, after the success of my debut work uh, and all the people that I've touched, I knew that I had a, a career in theatre. Yeah? I've always been an admirer of Tommy from afar. So when my manager phoned and said that I'd been offered the gig as director, I was ecstatic. I whipped my trousers off and got straight to work. <laughs> Why did you do that? I, I do all my best work with my trousers off. Yeah, I've been told that too. No, no, I wouldn't say so. Right, Tommy, um, sorry, would you just give us a sense of what the show is actually about? Uh, it's about how hard it's been for me and some of the struggles that I've faced. It, it's like really getting to the heart of how tough it is to be me. I call it <laughs> Tommy <laughs> Harris. Okay. Jesus, that was hard. Mm. Catchy. Uh, we actually have some clips of the process of the show. Oh, no. Um, would you mind telling us what's going on here? Yeah, so the show is, is, is built around uh, two things that are very important to me. Uh, it mixes scenes from my life uh, as well as epic fantasy retellings of scenes from my life. But, Dad, you promised you'd come to my graduation. I'm sorry, son, but you're an embarrassment. But, Dad, you promised you'd come to my graduation. Back, demon! Back to the <laughs> Wow. Philippa, oh, my God, so what's shy. it been like co-starring with Tommy Harris? I've always dreamed of treading the boards at medium-scale regional theatres, Megan. <laughs> and for once, this show really gives me something to sink my teeth into. What was different about this show, then? Tommy, uh... And Mr. Harris's show really lets me show my tremendous range as an actor. I've always <laughs> suffered from typecasting, forced to play the same tired characters in every god awful yogurt advert or god forsaken. We have the the oh, but. Pantomime. but you know, this 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 show has really let me just just go there. Jeff, the viewers at home will be dying to know exactly what is it that you bring to the show. Good question. Uh, I think these guys would agree with me when I say that it's my, uh, my steady hand on the tiller, my arm round the shoulder approach that's really brought the production from strength to strength. Absolutely right. Jeff's contributions are immeasurable. He was our... Oh, schau dir! Oh, das hätte jetzt zeigen müssen. Er mit der Unterhose da. Yeah, all sorts, yeah. We've got lots of exclusive first-hand experiences of Tommy's time in the underground sports board scene. And some epic fantasy retellings of Tommy's time in the ah, underground shit. sports board scene. Yeah, we must talk with the buttons. You'll never take the sacred pass! And am I right in saying this was officially commissioned by the government yeah yeah all all paid for by the taxpayer which you know to be honest is actually a lifesaver really yeah oh, i think it's fair yeah. to say that without advances support we'd have had to cut the finale yeah. which frankly would have been a travesty oh god jesus this bitch ever but it's sehr groß absolutely it's a metaphor for what 
and the public are footing the bill, aren't they? You're too bloody right they are. Between the cost of my tour bus and the dry cleaning of my ties, I'm barely scraping a profit here. Amazing. And where can the folks at home come and see this for themselves? We're performing all over the nation. <laughs> And people can see it for absolutely free, all courtesy of Advance. Isn't that incredible, Jeremy? Yes, it's unbelievable. Like, well, thank you all so much for coming. Also, sie ist ein bisschen pro Regierung, eher der Kritische, ne? That's all we have time for tonight. Oh, Gott sei Dank. When I'll be interviewing the world's most attractive horse. Was? Oh, bitte lass mich das, bitte lass mich das da moderieren, bitte geil. That's the ads. Let's get reset for tomorrow, please. Hey, we must stop bumping into each other like this, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's big. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, was? Das war's jetzt? Wir haben abgeschlossen. Fortsetzen. Okay, dann schauen wir mal, was die Bewertung hier sagt. Ja, okay. Da war ich mit dem Zensieren halt nicht so gut. Die sind bewusst nicht. Was passiert, wenn ich da auf weitere Info gehe? Einige Unimesse außerdem wurden gesendet. Eine Sendung ohne Störsignale. Ein extrem schwacher Schnitt. Was? Advanced ist verärgert über die Inhalte. Ach, na. Aber oh, schau. Haben da alle ganz gut zugeschaut. Wie geht's weiter? Du hast einen kleinen Bonus. Aktuell Vermögen nicht ganz ausgeglichen. Dann ausgeglichen? Technisch nicht negativ. <lacht> wow. Aber meine Anleihen gehen nach oben. Oder muss ich mal ein bisschen schauen? Oh, das war jetzt natürlich Prophesie. Aber sie mögen mich noch. Gut. Ich denke mal, war dabei, beziehungsweise ich möchte mir mal ganz kurz anschauen. Das war jetzt hier. Das, was Advance vermutlich abspielt. Geht ein bisschen schnell mit dem Abspiel. Here at Advance, we know you're worried about the future. This territory is changing fast and that makes other countries uncomfortable. But that won't stop us. And we intend to make sure that in these challenging times, every citizen gets their fair share of the abundant, nutritious food we grow right here in the territory. Your entitlements book will be coming to you by post in the next few days and it will let you claim enough food for the week, every week, at one of our many new distribution centers. Everyone will get their fair share and no one will be left behind. So you can carry on coming together to enjoy life and make wonderful memories. Because we've shown our international friends what's possible when we all pool our resources and come together in a sense of team spirit. So don't worry about what the rest of the world thinks. Save your concern for those around you, your family, friends and neighbors, and have confidence that the team will keep you safe from all the rest. Advance. Let's keep on setting a shining example together. Ja, so ganz ehrlich, so schlecht war das jetzt ja eigentlich gar nicht. Ich frag mich nur, wann dieses Konstrukt, was sie da aufbauen, halt zusammenkracht. Es klingt halt, wie auch schon erwähnt, viel zu gut. Die Idee ist echt super, dass jeder irgendwie äh, gleichberechtigt ist und äh, jeder hat das Gleiche, kann er zu viel, kann er zu wenig und dass alle da irgendwie glücklich sind. Ist echt gut an sich. Aber wann, wann, wann kracht's? Hm. Schwierig. Aber vielleicht erfahren wir mehr in der nächsten Episode. Wir sind schon wieder an der Zeit. Ich hoffe, es hat euch gefallen. Drückt vielleicht einen Daumen nach oben, wenn das so ist. Und dann bis bald. Ciao. Ja, liebe Leute, das ist leider das Ende von dem Video. Wie immer würde ich mich freuen, wenn ihr natürlich hier unten Kommentare reinschreibt, wie ihr es gefunden habt. Aktuelles zum Spiel findet ihr hier in dieser Playlist. Ansonsten der neueste Upload hier oben. Und wer möchte, kommt auch auf unseren Discord-Server. Link ist da rechts oben. Gibt auch immer wieder gratis Spiele und da könnt ihr auch mit mir quatschen und natürlich der Community. Ansonsten lasst ein Abo da und äh, dann verpasst ihr keinen Upload mehr. Bis denn dann, euer Bucher. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschüss.